Ladies and gentlemen, Mesdames et Messieurs, Dames et Cavaliers, and everyone in between. It is with great pleasure that we present tonight's Fossil Award today. For those of you who don't know, the Fossil Award is given by Cannes International each day to the country or countries that have done the most to and to make sure that nothing happens. And as we all know, no decision is in itself a very clear decision. Um, so, um, as we begin the fossil each day, we begin with the customary fossil of the day song, in which all of you are invited to join us in song. Um, and to help that, we have the fossil of the day lyrics here. Um, Maestro, if you please. <coughs> Get warmed up. Fossil of the day, fossil of the day. Who is bad? Who is worse? Fossil of the day, fossil of the day. All the blame, all the shame. Fossil of the As you may have noticed by uh, my singing voice, um, here at the COP we've learned quite a few important lessons about lowering standards. Um, and for example, all of you were invited to sing and you weren't even singing. You clearly don't know the words. And sir, it's B flat, C, B. Go home tomorrow and come back tomorrow and we can try again, everybody, okay? Um, because yes, in this political arena, we know that um, standards will get you nowhere. <laughs> Don't try that in bars. Um, and so for this, we have uh, a special uh, presentation tonight to talk a bit about gifts and standards for gift giving, as this is a gift giving season in much of the world. And so with our new sort of lowered standards, you no longer need to give a good gift to somebody for it to count as a gift. Um, it just has to be not the worst possible thing you could give them. So this might make uh, everyone's lives easier um, if, if we continue with this logic. Um, so you can think about a good gift might be a, a new pair of socks or funding for adaptation due to a global catastrophe that your country has helped cause. Um, whereas a bad gift might be one of those gifts that you give to someone because you actually want it yourself. Like that time when you were little and you gave your mom the dog that you always wanted, but you still let her clean up after it. So uh, tonight's fossil is something just quite along the lines of that sort of gift. And um, to help us present the fossil, uh, we have a very special guest. I would like to introduce Tokia. <laughs> And so, and we're going to be talking about the gift of giving something that I'm sure all of you want is a coal-powered, coal-fired power plant um, to yes, that will get us collectively out of the climate crisis. Um, but so this is how one can give a traditional coal plant: is first you uh, you give the coal plant, but it also has the effects of you feel it in the lungs. <coughs> and then you can't see anything because the sky is all full of coal. Oh, jeez. Oh. And then, and then at some point the corporations come and they rip the ground out from under you. Oh. 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 So that was an example of a bad present. But now we're going to have a 20% less bad present. So this is going to be a coal, uh, sort of revamped coal fire plant, power plant that uses slightly uh, less energy. So for in this case, it might be just uh, just a punch to the lungs. Oh. Oh. <coughs> and but it probably still involves ripping the ground out from underneath the communities that live there. Uh, uh, uh. 
Thank you for such a wonderful <laughs> gift. <laughs> and that gift brings us to tonight's fossil. Ladies and gentlemen, because that gift, if it were not just enough, imagine how great that gift would be, would be if it were actually included in the Green Climate Fund. If financing of these slightly more efficient coal plants were actually being included in the funding mechanisms designed to help the countries get out of this crisis. Which means, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's fossil, Japan wins the Fossil of the Day Award. <laughs> Japan wins the Fossil of the Day Award for getting busted funding coal and gas power stations in developing countries, in particular Indonesia, with money meant for scaling up climate action. Using climate finance to fund the root causes of climate change smells very whiffy. That's a technical term. <laughs> Japan's argument is that it's better to fund clean coal vision of what development needs. A slightly cleaner coal or gas-fired power plant will not get energy to everybody that needs it, and the bill will only get higher in the coming years as fuel prices rise, and pollution from the plants hits home. And of course, as climate change impacts worsen. Already, locals are complaining that coal sludge is clogging up their rivers and killing the fish stocks that they have depended on. Not something known to happen with renewable energy. The fact is, Japan has been pretending to be a knight in shining armor. Look at it. <laughs> with its fast start finance funds, but has actually been the dragon that ate the damsel all along. This pot of Japanese money should have gone to renewable energy, which could have solved some of Indonesia's problems, not worsened them. That's what climate climate finance should be about. Can we hear a collective boo? boo. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this brings us to the end of today's fossil. There's only a single winner. If you are with press and would like a press release, Please come up here. Si estás con la prensa y quieres un nota de prensa, puedes subir aquí después. Um, and we'll have a little photo moment set up for you here. Thank you very much. But before we end, one more time, we're going to sing the song. You got it? You're going to pay attention? Cool. Okay. You too. Great. Fossil of the day. Fossil of the day. Fossil of the day, all the blame, all the shame, fossil of the day. Thank you very much. We'll be here tomorrow and every day at 6 p.m.